morning everybody it's nomad we are about to have thumper thursday so today we're going to actually pick up where we left off back in february i mean holy crap what in the world i haven't made a video with guns since february i know i mean I, I, my whole channel is like thumper thursday and everything and all i've been doing on instagram is putting a homestead and stuff i know that's well i did have some rabbits and that's kind of like a thump anyway so what we have today is we're bringing out the elephant gun the 458 wind mag we're going to be shooting those really heavy duty um, those industrial jugs. There's a, a variety of things that come in them. Anyway, uh, it took me a few. It took me a little bit. I gathered up more of them. I was very impressed with how tough those suckers were. So we're going to hit them today with the elephant gun. We're going to hit them with a uh, the 500 grain DGX, which is the expanding bullet, and the DGS, which is their solid. Uh, I'm really hoping to catch both of these. I'm going to shoot it with the DGX first because I don't think it's going to go through. My guess is. I think it'll go through three of them and then hopefully I can um, I might have to tape them up and fill them up with some more water we'll see how that goes rotate them out but then I'm gonna hit them with the DGS and I'm wondering how many of these water jugs this thing will go through so y'all come down range with me just a second and we'll look at what we got down there uh, then we'll get everything going and uh, we'll shoot this thing we're gonna get it short sweet and to the point today welcome to Thumper Thursday Here's an up close of those jugs. You can see that they are roughly 10 inches or so, probably about 11 inches actually wide. And that's the way I turned them. I turned them this way so we have more to go through. That is a lot of water jugs. Each one of them hold four and a half gallons of water. And this is right about, probably about six foot nine inches cause it's hanging over in the front just a little bit. So compared to the rifle and the heavy duty, one of those big pallets on some saw horses. I'm hoping this little table will last for more than a couple of videos. So we'll see how long this puppy lasts, but this is one of the heaviest of those pallets sitting on some pretty good saw horses. Maybe this thing will last for a few videos. Let's shoot it. First up, the DGX. Look how bulged out that one got. It just stretches the plastic and causes it to rip. These things are thick now. They do rip when they get enough expansion, but that's pretty nuts. Nice clean hole on the back side. That's the front of this one. Yep, got a, still got a bit, good bit of water in the bottom of it. It's just leaking out, obviously. Look at that. Man, it hits hard, don't it? On the back side hey there's the there it is so there's a bullet in this one we'll dig in there in just a minute so that's number three hey granddaddy long leg i bet you just had a wild ride all right so it made it through well almost through three punched all the way through two and hit the back side of number three um let's see if the dgs will go all the way through all the rest of the four All right, so I kind of retraced the angle and where it came out, and I thought that may have been it, but right over here next to it, I dug for a second, I saw some more dirt disturbed, and look at what I found. That's a rock, Never mind. I thought I had it. False alarm. Well, I couldn't find the DGS, so let's get this one out of there. Ugh. Nasty. Go home stinking, and Aaron's gonna be like, You reek. There it is. Wow, look at that. Now, that focus, look at that mushroom. Man, those things rolled back. That is that is beautiful. <laughs> I'm really hoping to go hog hunting with this thing this, this winter. We'll see. That's great expansion on that thing, though. That's fantastic. Really wish I would have been able to catch that DGS, but I don't think I have enough duct tape. <laughs> I'm, gonna have to re I'm gonna have to collect some more of these jugs and try this again and see if we can actually catch it next time. I'll even make it a little bit wider towards the back just in case it yaws again. But check out that, 500 grains of pain. 
All right. Thank y'all for joining me today on Thumper Thursday. I know it's been a while and I do appreciate y'all's patience. So we're almost to 500 subscribers on the channel. Uh, and I've got quite a few folks on Instagram. I appreciate y'all watching a lot of the homestead and stuff and sticking with me for the last few months. I'm doing my best to get back into making some videos and trying to release a Thumper Thursday every month again, if not every two weeks. Uh, 500 subscribers is coming up. I wanna give this out to, uh, to someone. We're still doing the, the flag giveaway and uh, that's gonna be really cool. Uh, be watching Instagram for that. Uh, stick around on the YouTube channel. If you've never seen a Thumper Thursday before, I've done several of them. I had a little break from since February until now. Uh, go back and check those out. We've done everything from uh, paint a Christmas tree uh, with a Thumper to uh, shoot a Mississippi snowman, turkeys, jack-o'-lanterns. We did a 458 wind mag-o'-lantern last October. So please stick around. Go check those uh, on the playlist out. Thank you for joining me on this adventure, and I will see you on the next one.